Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network, where we share exclusive content from inside of BrandManNetwork.com. This is yet another clip from the very long conversation where Brand Man Network collaborated with Music Entrepreneur Club, and me and Dame just sat down answering questions for artists for hours, doing a live Q and A. This particular clip, I think, is something that's really relevant for artists to think about and shift their perspective. I don't hear enough conversation about this, and I'm going to expand on it just a little bit at the end. Check it out. The purpose of the website initially in my, in my idea was to create like a personal experience for my fans. So like, say, for example, you know, they follow me on Instagram, they follow my journey, all of that. It was another way to kind of give them another another lane to see my journey in a different light and kind of tell like even more personal things stuff i really couldn't share on social media per se for it might get flagged and things of that nature and so that was the initial purpose of it but listening to what you guys said like like from what i got out of what you guys said was basically like don't make it overly complicated like make sure it gets to the point but it's also immersive so that they'll they'll not only get something out of it, but they'll convert. Yeah. You know, well it, it's it's tough to get traffic to your website. It's not a you know, it's not an easy thing to do. I mean, I guess unless you're you're just paying for it. Um, so whatever the experience is, it has to be worth coming to your it has to be worth getting off of Instagram, you know, going into your bio, actually clicking the link and like, okay, what am I experiencing now? that's different from Instagram that, you know, made me feel good about clicking it, you know? So I just, just, just think, think through that. And I, I've seen some, some unique things that have happened on people's websites. Um, I don't think, I don't know if she has a website for it, but the artist, no name from Chicago, she recently started a book club. I would assume there's a website for it and I can, imagine that there's a, a lot of reason to have a website for that and a lot of fans would probably flock to it because you know i th think it's something unique it, it, it's something it's a passion point of hers uh so i'm sure she can create a unique experience out of that so if there's something that you're doing that's unique and you can create you know a dope experience on a site and people will be happy to go then you know take a shot at it it's crazy that you say that because uh, No Name is one of my inspirations as far as rapping is concerned. So it's crazy that you said that. No, that were, were you aware of her book club? I wasn't. I wasn't until you said that. Yeah, you should. You should check it out. I mean, I think everybody here should check it out because I think it's a dope extension of her brand, and she's starting to create like experiences around it. Um, I know that she's had like meetups in different cities, and she. I think there's like two books a month that they read at. I mean, I think it's dope. If you're really into books and, and that's something that's, that's, that's just another thing that you can share with your fans. And I don't think she's charging for these meetups, but I bet you she could, you know, charge for the, the book club meeting in your city, you know? Um, and that's something unique that I don't think an artist has, has done. So I think that's dope. Yeah, I think a big thing that so many artists need to consider um especially ones who have some semblance of a fan base already is those adjacent communities that you can be a part of or that make sense for your brand and being in charge of a community in that category versus just trying to have hey this is a fan space right that that fan club thing that's not as organic and it's, it's a lot harder to build off of if you're not freaking beyonce or something like that but Similar to what you just talked about with No Name, um, Dame, I know an artist, um, what is it? I think his has something to do with anime. But there, like, but there's like, and, and people who watch anime and they kind of comment on those shows together. There's so many different categories of things that people like, right? What is your community like? Obviously, especially for like niche artists, there's probably some things that people like in line with what you like. And being in control of that community that and that has legs to build all on its own right that big book club can become huge just off being a book club becomes some some other revenue stream for her some other way of you know whether it's through brand deals or whether it's she sells a book right of her own whatever happens out of that there's something huge that become that that comes after it 
But the great part is you don't necessarily have to highly monitor these types of clubs as well in terms of it, because it's not all about you. It's user generated content. You're getting the brand equity for being over it versus it's just me, 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 me. Yeah. Ace, Ace Hood started like a, a workout program thing too. What? Like, hashtag shredded. Obviously he's in really good shape. He's always posting himself working out. Yeah, so um, yeah, something that he's done as well. I hadn't heard about that. That's dope. It, see, people are doing it. Like y'all, that's definitely something for people to consider. All right, again, you can check out that full clip on brandmannetwork.com, but here's the expansion of thought that I want to add to that, right? If you're an artist and you start this adjacent audience, right? You start this tournament club for some kind of game because you like being on Twitch Live and all that stuff a lot, or you start a book club or whatever, this essentially is something that can be very similar to running another business. And why I say that is you're now setting a fan base and you're creating access and, and creating a base of information of people that are interested in a topic. Most businesses are trying to find an audience, right? And most artists, after they get to a certain point, are trying to figure out what kind of business to open. Should I open a health club? Can I extend my brand that way or sponsor something? Or should I buy a company that's related to burgers, right? Should I start a franchise of Burger King or McDonald's? What should I do? You doing this actually sets you up to start a business that serves that. This is another reason why we're talking about you not being the main face of this. Yes, you represent it and you're involved and that creates some of the attachment, but allowing the community to be strong in and of itself now creates a community to tap into this thing that hopefully you're interested in, right? Obviously, right, should be an extension of your interest but then has the potential to become book club to bookstore, right? Book club to online bookstore or book club to, to tour, right? Or maybe you have a writer's club or like something where people are collaborating and they pay money for that for some reason. I don't know. There's so many interesting ideas that can come from that. Obviously, games, the tournaments cost money. People pay to be in tournaments and things like that. Uh, get to play with me live. And, you know, so you might have a live stream at every now and then where people get on and they pay to go against you and see who can beat you and some fans watch. I don't know. There's so many ideas that can come from that. But again, it's a business in and of itself. It's setting the foundation for a business in and of itself that when you get to the right space, you can literally build that out and that be a business that is its own brand, right, separate of you. And now we're talking about that true artist and music entrepreneurship starting to come together in the ways that most people desire, but struggle to actually execute. So again, as always, you can check out this full clip in brandmannetwork.com. And if you like this video, go ahead hit the like button. Well, description, all right, let me go ahead and say that in the description, you can follow brandmannetwork.com and check out the things in that space. But if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not, subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button